it's another time on Tech Bridge on Lagos Television. Thanks for joining us. This is where we serve you fresh. This is where we update you around the world of technology. All we do on this show is to ensure that you have technology working for you. You have technology working just good for you. I'm sure you're from your life today, and I welcome you to Tech Bridge today. Technology has uh, resulted in digitization, modernization of information of several fields, and that is why we'll bring you good news on technology today. My name is Tonya Laguke. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so welcoming our viewers on that note, we see that uh, there is something else that we're going to pick just like every other episode that is always fresh and always educative. We're mm -hmm. talking about something that has to do with hard drives today most especially external hard drives. And uh, you, you look at information management, you discover that that's how some people manage their own information, mm -hmm. how to keep their information, their yeah. data, and any other thing. So when you talk about external hard drive, well, any kind of drive anyway, mm -hmm. you have to know how to manage it very well. Yes, because we discover that most of the time, the capacity on our laptops will not just be sufficient to house most of our data, especially when you are dealing with videos and heavy content. To me, even if it is sufficient, there are times you need to be mobile. You need to yes. go along with your documents. So instead of carrying the entire laptop or the entire system, you need something portable that you can move around with. Absolutely. And we see that uh, that has been an issue over time. We see that uh, nowadays we have a 4 gig hard drive, 4 terabyte hard drive, mm. crashing in like two weeks or thereabouts, less than a year. They begin to wonder what is responsible for that. And uh, most people, when they newly bought or buy the hardware, they are very happy they have 4 terabytes. Yes, yes, yes. Which is mm -hmm. more than capacity of a server. Mm -hmm. and you are sure that okay for the next two three years you'll be, you fine. be fine but within short period shortest period those things those hard drive just got crashed they get fried i'm like you begin to wonder what did i do wrong <laughs> and that is why we need to talk about it yeah. today so we're going to point out what are the things you were doing wrong that made your hard drive to crash or get fried stay with us we'll be back after this break All right, thanks for staying with us. It is still Tech Bridge on Lagos Television. We told you we're talking about protecting your hard drive. And uh, today we see that, uh, of course, you can see on our table, we've got uh, like four hard drives here. And it will be so shocking that out of these four, three hard drives are bad. Yeah, bad. <laughs> and they don't look it really. No, 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 not at all. Because you look one of them being fanciful and yes. being strong. It, it still looks like it's working. Yeah, well, it looks so, but it's not. <laughs> and it's the highest in terms of capacity. Oh, this is yeah. four terabytes. Four terabytes. Yeah. Whoa. And it's not working anymore. It's not working because of one or two issues. Yeah. So let's try picking them one after the other. So we discover that for a layman, we see the connection either by uh, USB 2.0 or 3.0. Yeah. I think this is a 3.0. This is 3.0 because okay. the, th that determines the speed at which you access the, the data, transfer those the data, data and you transfer okay. and all those stuff. Yeah. Okay. So we, we pick it from this point that uh, most of the time when people attach the hard drives to their laptops or to their system, they are not always careful of the surface the hard drive is going to be. Mm. At times, I, I saw someone moving, practically moving with the laptop, and moving with the hard drive as well, attached. Be because, because he or she may not be sure of what the danger yeah. is in. Mm -hmm. be, be, moving the data, I mean, moving your uh, drive. drive with the laptop can have effect, yeah. negative effect on it, because mm -hmm. as you're working, don't forget, there are transfer of files, yes. and along the line, there may be a kind of itch, there may be a kind of pulse, mm -hmm. there may be a kind of um, jacking, that may be such, and all those things will affect the drive you itself. You are actually right. I had a personal experience. I think uh, God saved me at that time, really. <laughs> I was coming from an assignment, and I was supposed to copy the data while we were in transit. So I was like, let me save time. So I was seated with my laptop. I attached the hard drive. I was copying. So at a point, the, the vehicle got into a not-so-smooth road, and it mm. was shaky. Exactly. So the thing shook kind of. And it told me to reinsert or reconnect my hard drive. I felt, okay, it shook. I can reconnect. So I reconnected, and the laptop couldn't identify my hard drive again. It's gone. I was like, whoo. It's gone. So I waited. I was like, I was praying, kind of. <laughs> I was hopeful, kind of. But I wasn't too sure what was, what was happening. So when I got back to the office, I left the hard drive with the system for a while. 
I could hear some running in the hydra. Mm, that's spinning. when I, it's yeah, actually spinning, spinning to, to, yeah, to, to, to detect the sectors. The data. So that was when I knew that something was wrong at that point. Unlike before, that immediately you plug it, just, it in fact, you to show seamless. and you assess your data. Mm -hmm. But with that, I'm sure you won't do that again. I didn't do that again. <laughs> but eventually, the eventuality happened. <laughs> so it, it, it's fire. always good to have enough knowledge about these things yes. because the more you keep your data, I mean, I'm talking about the hard drive mm -hmm. or any memory card or any, any external drive mm -hmm. because you, you may be using memory card as well. Yes. So managing and keeping them properly will help you, will prolong the life of those devices. Yes, and the first place to start is to make sure that you place your hard drive on a very flat, smooth and stable surface. Can we demonstrate that? Okay. Because some, somebody will be looking enough. at... Yeah, somebody will be looking at, what do you mean by smooth? <laughs> of course, this table is smooth So enough. if I put my uh, hard drive on this to on smoothen edge surface. or surface no, that's what happened it's dangerous it's dangerous of. why because this can shake while it's working it can vibrate the laptop can shake somebody might just shift this table and the cable shakes and it eventually affects the health of your hard drive and the hard drive goes it goes so forward. this is a way of not managing mm. your hard drive oh. putting it on a smooth a surface that is not smooth. Yes. Yeah. So you have to place it on a smooth surface yes. like this. Mm -hmm. And make sure that it is stable. Now the second one that is related to it is that uh, when you connect your hard drive through whatever cable, either USB 2.2 or 3.0, make sure you go through the eject uh, option. Don't mm. just pull out the cable. That is when you want to remove. Yes. You are done with your work. Yes. You are sure that you don't want anything again. Mm -hmm. Instead of disconnecting your cable yeah. directly. Make sure you go through the eject option. Yeah, which is on this laptop or the yes, system. The bottom right corner, eject uh, device. Yeah. Yes, it pops up and you click eject. And it gives you information say, safely to remove. Yes. At a point, some people are not so patient. At times, the system will display that you can't eject the pro the hard drive is still busy kind of. They feel like, please remove it. Yeah, 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 don't copy. Ah, even but <laughs> even I've seen engineers that mention that to me. They say mm. it doesn't matter, and mm. I'm like, you don't. The people that develop this thing mm -hmm. know the reason why they put it there. Yes. And for several reasons, that system will notify you that it's not safe to remove. To remove why? Because point. some um, background processes may still be running. Mm -hmm. Especially that is not so obvious to the to screening. you. Yeah. yeah. When you have used an application, you've closed it, and you're thinking mm -hmm. I can remove. It will not remove. Yeah. So give the system a breathing space. <laughs> <laughs> These things can sound so simple, but eventually these are the things that crash our hard drives. And it really. affects your mood, it affects yeah. your operations. I need you need to see me the day my first hard drive got fried. I will use the word fried because <laughs> it practically <laughs> couldn't access anything. But the third thing that is related to it is that you ensure that your hard drive is having a very good temperature. Mm. It is not so hot because High temperature is not good for the hard drive. It is not. Either internal or external. Even for the laptop or system, most it has drive, to be Most drives, devices, laptop, servers, mm. they need certain room conditions to operate. Yes. So when you are not operating within that um, room temperature, temperature, it will affect it. Mm. Some people keep their drive or memory card mm. or USB card, they put it in a tight jeans. Mm. And because of that, there's this kind of heat yes. that that thing retains. From the body and to the hard drive. And it affects it. It affects it, mm -hmm. actually. So the good thing is ensure you maintain good temperature mm -hmm. for all your devices. Hard drive. And then another thing is that uh, you ensure that you don't have a kind, would I call it a overload of data on your hard drive. If your hard drive is, say, one terabyte, and it's already showing you red in the content, like it's like 900 gig, you should know that that is the time you should begin to think of an alternative. Either move away some data exactly. or buy another one. Uh, some people want to enjoy all their money. <laughs> <laughs> Something is already telling you this is 95%, 99%. Use. They keep pushing, pushing data. Is At least it's not. <laughs> don't forget there are sectors inside the hard drive mm. itself. So the moment you don't have the sector arranged properly, mm. it will affect it. You don't need to use everything. Yes. Manage the space. Mm -hmm. uh, because the more you push data, the more the system gets worked up. Yes searching for the data you want to use and that takes us to the fragmentation mm. the fragmenting your hard drive either yeah. internal or external, external as well yeah. it's also a way of creating 
more space kind of i, I think and we've mentioned this on this yes, platform at the yes. time that when you are less busy and when you want to go to sleep mm -hmm. you can defrag your laptop uh, it defrag it your, your uh, drive. drive let it go on because mm -hmm. it will take several hours to work yes. so defrag it while you are enjoy your sleep that one will and keep working so it will rearrange everything it will remove all the bad sectors and then you have safe drive mm. okay so then we also talk about the fact that uh, when we're using laptop this is particular to laptops you don't um, allow for sudden disconnection of power mm. from your laptop. That affects a lot. I read that somewhere that uh, at times when you connect your hard drive, especially external hard drive, and you disconnect the cable, the power cable from the laptop, suddenly while you are copying something with the hard drive, it has a way of affecting the spinning and probably crash. That is part I will use fry your hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> Not crash now, yes, fry. It's going to fry. So the egg is already fried. <laughs> now, so that's a, an important point because a number of people are impatient yes. to manage their equipment mm -hmm. or device properly. So why that thing is copying? Maybe for one reason or the other, the thing is very slow or it's hanged. All you need to do is to exercise a little patience. bit of patience. Or at, at worst, I use the word worst, shut down the entire yes, system or laptop. It will cool down the processes, mm, the background mm. processes. Then you can now remove your remove de device right. instead of just uh, disconnecting Pulling it. Out. Yeah. Because we know that at a point in time, you, you discover that the data becomes part of your life. You might not notice until the hard drive or you lose those data. Is always painful. It's I've, 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 I've experienced it several <laughs> times. I was actually working on a particular day. This time around, it wasn't because of carelessness. It was yeah. because I was in a rush. Oh. And somebody was coming from uh, the staircase mm. and it bumped into me. Whoa. So the hard drive fell down. Whoa, that's and the height of it. May I tell you that this is the hard drive? <laughs> Four Two. terabytes. Ah. Nearly buzz. Up to now, the thing is not working. But it looks. <laughs> <laughs> so the point here is uh, ha, ha, those things are actually devices. Mm -hmm. They are electronics in nature mm -hmm. and we have to manage them properly. Take, them, take care of them properly. I think the, the bottom line is that uh, we should see this hard drive as uh, we shouldn't see them rather as something that is not uh, that can be destroyed, that can't be damaged. Mm -hmm. They have their rules as well and we just have to abide by those rules if we must enjoy technology through external hard drive. Absolutely. Otherwise, it's going to be something else. Absolutely. We still have some other reasons why we have hard drive being fried mm -hmm. or being the crashes. Yes. Can virus we? is one of them. Really. Virus, of yes. course. You must get good antivirus on your systems mm -hmm. to take care of uh, whatsoever the virus may want to do. Yeah. If you don't have antivirus, you're trying to save money. You will, you, you will pay dearly. Pay you, it will cost you your data. Mm -hmm. It will cost you your time. It will affect a lot of other things. So get antivirus. Antivirus are not that expensive these days. Yes, they, we have cheaper ones nowadays. Yes, and, and they work the, the same way. Uh, well, the only thing is you may have some viruses that are very stubborn. <laughs> so when you notice those ones, you have to update your okay. antivirus. So antivirus mm -hmm. is one of the, I mean, viruses are one of the reasons why uh, we have damaged um, hard drives. Hard drives the rest yeah. of it. Yes, so talking about uh, the reasons, this also occurs to me that at the point we are attaching the cables, now talking about cables, the USB cables, attaching the cable either to the hard drive or to the laptop, there is a process. At the point we see that it shouldn't be attached to the hard drive before you attach to the laptop. Mm -hmm. It should be the other way around. Yeah. Because naturally the power is coming from the laptop or your system. So it should be in this order. Yes. Your the laptop, attach cable, then attach your hard drive. How many people will listen to that? Most <laughs> time we leave the cable, the with, cable the drive. with the drive. So the next thing we'll plug it to the laptop. So, so we are advising from TechBridge that you get your cable, connect it to the server, the mm -hmm. source, first before, before you connect it to the external drive yeah. or any kind of drive you want to use so that that is also apt all these little little things can save us at least elongate the life of our devices and don't, don't forget we talk about information information management in one mm -hmm. of our episodes you yes. can manage your information properly through proper keeping of your hard drive mm -hmm. some people call it external drive yes, anyway uh, if that is if you are not on cloud anyway because okay, there's yes, another that way another yes, you keep mm -hmm. all your things on the cloud mm -hmm. but right. sometimes some cloud systems are very slow you are mm -hmm. trying to upload will you wait for it to be uploaded <laughs> and that has data consideration as well <laughs> yeah, exactly so it drains your data, data which bandwidth. is not so cheap in this mm. part of but the world. with this you can keep your files you move you're sure mm -hmm. whatever you want to do you're happy with it yes and utmostly you make sure that your hard drive doesn't fall for whatever reason which you is don't drop it 
we, which is part of what I explained about yes. my experience. Mm -hmm. Even though that one was not deliberate. Yes. But Either deliberately or indeliberately. The hard drive doesn't know. Yeah. And the reason is because those sectors just they were destabilized. Mm. They can't so, stand that impact of falling. Exactly. So there, there was no sequence of understanding what needs to be done. So mm. you won't say it. Mm. You won't say it. So you must always avoid your hard drive, your external drive from falling. Okay. So let's move, push it further. If we've said all of this that people can do by themselves, there are other tools that can help us uh, monitor the health because we see them as devices. They have health status that can monitor the health of our drives, either internal or external. There is one that comes with every Windows, mm -hmm. and there is another. There are other options that are third-party softwares that can tell you the health status of your of your hard drive. The other time that I was talking about my hard drive, I checked the health status. It was showing red, 97% mm -hmm. sick and 3% healthy. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you have I to, saw the analysis. I'm like, no, this is gone. So you have to quarantine. They call it quarantine. Mm. You quarantine it. So it, that, will, it will do the needful. That is, uh, if that edge touches is still manageable. Yes. And it will bring it back. To but I lost hope. I'm like, at 97 to 3. <laughs> 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 okay, so we have these tools we're just going to reel out. The very first one is HD Tune. That one is very free. You can download that software. It's free. Mm. Download it on your system and it automatically monitors the temperature of your hard drive and of course the health status of your hard drive. Mm -hmm. You do this often so that, because they also have their lifespan as well. True. So you begin to monitor. By the time it begins to get to the yellow part, or the red part. Don't the, wait till it gets to the red the, part. The yellow part, the orange part is just a warning. Yes, that's but the moment it gets to the red part, no, it no. becomes dangerous. Yes. So another one from this place is Passmark Disc uh, Cleanup. Yes, that's another one. Uh, most of them actually behave the same way. Mm -hmm. Isn't it that you, they are proprietary to some you know, industries? Yes. And some have advantage over others. Mm, maybe but one or two features added yes, there Yes, added there. to them. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we can just read out the names yes. and now talk about So we also talk about Samsung HUTIL and of course Sega C2, Crystal Disk Info. All of these are just, they are not so heavy on your laptop. They are not and they are basically free. Mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, G Smart Control, yep. you have HD Disk Scan. Mm -hmm. so, so just Google this stuff, yeah. download them, don't download virus into your system. No, 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 no. That's why we're calling the name. <laughs> download the a verified, yeah. trustworthy site or software yes, yes. so that at least you can enjoy the benefits. Mm -hmm. So when you put all of this on your system, it's, you discover that it's going to save you a lot. Because mm. at some point we see that you've used a, a hard drive for a very long time and you've never thought it's going to crash someday. Whereas if you have this software on your system, you can immediately see the health status of the hard drive. Mm. Maybe it's too hot or maybe the health, the health is failing, at that point you can begin to prepare yourself that, uh, okay, absolutely. I need to have a backup, mm. I need to do this, I need to so, do so that. So you have a plan towards managing those things. Yes. Now we may be talking about external drive or mm. hard drive, but it applies to the same thing with uh, hot spots, hot, hot backup, sorry. Mm -hmm. There yes, are some exactly. hot disk that you can attach uh, to and they have system. different read system mm. uh, because it's the same principle they have read 0 plus 1 read 0 plus 5 okay. that is failover system so when you discover that any of those hard drive is failing all you need to do is to pull it out especially on the server mm. then replace it with a better one and it will replicate those information to the Into newer the one. New one so you are not losing anything but if you avoid if you, if you close your eyes sorry if you close your eyes against these things they're going to lose everything oh, honestly <laughs> you will pay dearly for it so it's the same <laughs> principle of managing your external drive mm. your hot spare your um, servers raid mm. systems it's just to be careful and have a healthy checkup on them. On them, okay. I think uh, we've gone something. We've given out something to someone out there today. Your hard drive can be better used. You can have a better lifespan for your hard drive if you take these things into consideration. And someone also said that uh, you should avoid using large size or large capacity hard drives. I can't really scientifically prove that. I've really. learned, I've learned my <laughs> lesson. Instead of buying four, four terabytes, tera, now I stick with 500 one, five, gig. this is 500 gig, it's still working. Okay. So I will stop using <laughs> four terabytes because the, the point is, it's, it has large capacity. Mm. So when the damage is done, it affects it's everything and it's mm. susceptible. Mm. Or what people call it susceptible mm -hmm. to errors yeah. easily compared to the lower ones. So if you have 500 like in four places, that's yeah. two tera, so you can probably monitor your data and it will probably live a longer In life. some cases, they even build 
There's a way you build okay. four terabyte, not just, yes, I'm advocating for that. You okay. can build four terabyte in such a way that it's not just one. So it's like four yes. disks? Yes, it's still one disk, but okay. it's properly done um, manually. Okay. So you okay. manage it in such a way that it will not crash. If something got Absolutely. damaged there, you can it remove it, affect everything. everything. You can okay. now replace that one. Okay, yeah, that think. is another way to go. <laughs> so I guess someone is getting something somewhere today. So let's go for a quick break. Tech Bridge continues. Right. Thanks for staying with us. It is still Tech Bridge on Lagos Television. We've been talking about uh, protecting your drives, ensuring that you have a better lifespan for your hard drive, it's especially when you have valuables. I call it valuables when it comes to data on them. And you be sure that um, you have a very good bargain for your money. Absolutely, because your data is your life. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep properly, you have to maintain properly, you have to ensure that all those devices are in good state. Okay, thanks for staying with us. That is our show today. Many thanks for joining us. Remember that uh, you can connect with us on our Facebook, that is Tech Bridge LTV. And of course on YouTube, we're also Tech Bridge LTV. You can watch this episode again and again on our YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to it as well. You can also watch Lagos Television and all of our programs using the uh, LTV mobile app or TV Now app. I'm sure you're familiar today. See you in the next episode. Thank you for being with us on this program today. Hope to see you in the next episode. Tonya Lavuk is my name. Bye. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>